Well, it started because I love the Martin Mass. <laughs> you know, like, that's it. Like, I just love the Martin Mass. It's one of my favorite pieces. I think that it is like an alchemist's dream. It's just magic on the page. And Martin wrote a bunch of music. He's a Swiss composer. He's writing um, in the early 20th century. And he just captured gold with this piece. Martin, you know, is infusing into his mass jazz sensibility and impressionism. And, he's, and he is looking to the Gregorian chant um, foundation of what the mass is and, and the setting of the sacred service of the Catholic Church. At the same time, the piece is totally explosive. It is full of vocal fireworks. Um, he is looking at like a setting like the Bach B minor mass, which is in no way staid or boring. It is um, full of contrast and surprise, and this piece is is like no other. Um, my favorite my favorite um, part of the Martin Mass has to be the Sanctus in the middle, um, just sort of the way that the that the the chords um, evolve and expand and um, and surprise, and then. Um, after you're surprised by the modulations and, and the, the, the really interesting turns of a phrase, he gives you the most glorious, crazy, wild um, contrapuntal, that's like fugue, imitative sections you could possibly imagine. And um, this big glorious finish. And every movement could stand alone of that piece as a concert piece. I've, I've done that before with, you know, in other programs where I'll just excerpt a movement from the Martin Mass because every single movement is its own journey. So when you put it all together, it is like the most glorious and exciting piece of unaccompanied choral music, I think, of the 20th century. So I started with that piece and I thought, you know, what could we do to, to transport our audience to another time and another place? What could we do to offer them a moment of really thoughtful um, repose and, and inspiration? What, what could we do to, to give them a uh, soul-filled experience. So with Paul Fowler's calling, we experience the joy of being human and singing. Galina Grigorieva's piece really leads us through the process of grief and transfiguration. And Frank Martin's beautiful mass encourages us all, encourages us all to hope and to dream about the possibilities of a bright future.